is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Today we're going to talk about dual mode ports. So a dual mode port is a port that has the ability to send tagged and untagged frames at the same time. Um, so what do we use this for? Well, the largest used by far is VoIP phones. So on most, if not all, VoIP phones, you've got two ports. Um, so you take tag traffic, which is your phone traffic, and untagged traffic, which is uh, connects to your PC or whatever device you have connected to the second port of the IP phone. And the reason we send tag traffic to the phone um, is because, primarily because, that's how we uh, send 802.1p QoS bits without... Um, without it being tagged, there's nowhere to write those QoS bits, and so therefore we'd have no QoS going to and from the phone. Uh, the other uses for it is Cisco native VLAN, so Cisco often sends untagged frames for things like PVSD Plus uh, on an untagged port, even on a, a tagged or what they would call trunked interface. Uh, and thirdly, many access points on the market use tagged and untagged at the same time, so the untagged would be used for configuration and management, and then the tag would be used for the uh, user SSIDs. Uh, so a couple other things to keep in mind. You can have as many tagged VLANs on an interface as you want, but only one untagged. So that'll become important in a minute during the configuration. And lastly, fast port span, uh, or the ability to put a port into forwarding mode in four seconds or less, um, as opposed to you know the default of 30 seconds in regular spanning tree is not going to work with dual mode because in order to configure dual mode you have to have a, a well it breaks two rules one is that the port is going to be tagged and the second you're going to learn more than one mac address on that port so it's going to disable uh, fast port span so you should use rapid spanning tree which um, is uh, is faster than fast port span anyway so it, it doesn't doesn't utilize fast port span so let's have a look at how we configure that uh, so we're going to config t so what we're going to do is we're going to create our vlans like usual so we'll create a um, vlan 10 and a vlan 20 so vlan 10 uh, name is i don't know pc and we're going to tag, uh, we'll use Ethernet 1 slash 1 slash 1 in this example. Okay. And then we are going to create a second VLAN for voice. We'll say VLAN 20 name uh, voice. Uh, the name is optional, of course. And we're going to tag that same interface. So, um, so I, got, I just got done telling you that it's going to send tagged and untagged at the same time. Uh, however in order to configure dual mode we need to tag all of the vlans and then the one vlan that you want untagged you're going to put into dual mode so that so we've got our two vlans created we've tagged the interface out to the to the ip phone and the pc and then lastly we're going to go into the interface itself interface e one slash one slash one and we're going to say dual mode so it's dual dash mode and then if you just hit enter here, the untagged VLAN will be your default VLAN. However, if I specify a number here like, I, like I'm going to, the number you specify, in this case 10, is the untagged VLAN. So I want to send traffic to VLAN 10 untagged because that's going to our PC and our PC doesn't understand VLAN tagging. And the VLAN 20 traffic will remain tagged and go to the phone. So if I do a show interface E 1 slash 1 slash 1, uh, it is going to tell me that it's a member of two layer two VLANs. The port's in dual mode in VLAN 10. So its port state is blocking because the port's down at the moment, but, but it's dual mode in VLAN 10 even though it's a member of two VLANs. All right, so easy as that. Thanks for joining.